Russ, a two-all draw with Bambury today. It must be a, a tough one to take when you're leading going into added time. It is. Uh, it shows how far we come. You know, where we're disappointed to come away to Banbury and, and uh, be disappointed only to get a point. Um, I think the nature of their equalising goals disappointing for us. It's a fantastic delivery and, and a great header from the lad. Um, but I think to get done off a set piece, you know, we're, we're, we're well organised, well drilled side. If they'd have carved us open because they're a good footballing team, yeah, you hold your hands up. But cracking game, had a bit of everything. Um, it's another point. It's seven unbeaten. I think out of them seven games, five of those have been away. So great set of lads in there. Uh, I say it most weeks, but they are. They just keep going and keep going and keep going. And we're disappointed. There's, they always, there's a tinge of disappointment when you're losing. But again, character. We went 1 0 down, got ourselves straight back in the game, um, got us noses in front, um, had good shape about us. Yeah, they like to play through the thirds and they're a good outfit. You know, Andy's done a terrific job with them. Um, well, it's another point, another point closer to where we want to be. Uh, results have been fairly kind. Um, tinge of disappointment to drop them too. Yeah, and when you know goals before half time often change games. So when you go, you know, one 0 down in the 44th minute, that could be a big moment. But to respond, you know, before half time, you know, as you, as you mentioned, it shows what this side's about. But it was a, an important moment in the game. Massive moment in the game because it changes mentality, changes your team talk at half time. Um, Great character again from the group. It's a great finish, to be fair, from Calton. Looks like he's going to shoot on his left, just chops it back in and, and drills it into bottom corner um, to get one all. And then Frank scores a Frank goal. You know, that's what he does. As soon as he left his boot, I know he had a great chance of going in. Nestle's right in the, in the far corner and a goal that deserved to win any game. Um, but unfortunately, you know, we, we just not switched off because I don't think we did that. End of the day, they're chasing the game. They've loaded the box. They put seven or eight players in the box from a corner, and sometimes it, it it's it's good delivery and good contact from their lad. Um, we move on to Tuesday. You know, a, a real tough one Tuesday. Um, this it's unforgiving this league at times. I think it's really tough Tuesday for the part-time teams as well. You know, we'll be at work all day, our lads. You know, filed full-time team. It's an advantage for them when you have to go there midweek. But we'll do what we do. We'll rest and recover, and we'll go again Tuesday. Yeah, you mentioned Frank. Obviously, a big boost to have him back today, and he showed you know straight away what he brings to the side with that wonderful goal. Yeah, he does. Um, you know, and Harry's done well. No problem with that at all. But uh, you just need that that, that that power up there. Uh, he gave us that. Um, his link-up play is good. He looked like he'd never been away. Tired a little bit towards the end, but you know, at least now we've got a bit of freshness to, to put on there as well. Got to a little bit of strength in depth, but um, yeah, a wonderful goal that should have been the winner. Yeah, does it feel kind of good now that you've got those options? Obviously, you can bring Harry off the bench. You know, he's had to start the last few games. You can now bring him off the bench. You've got Lewis there and, and Danny as well. You've got yeah. got those options now. Yeah, they're, they're all they're all players that, that you know can start. They're not fillers. You know, you go back a year and no disrespect to people, but we we're having fillers on the bench. You know, people just to make up numbers. We ain't got that now at the moment. That could change quickly. We know that we injuries and suspensions. Um, so we're still trying to add, add to the group. We have to, because after, like I spoke before, after the deadline on 23rd of March, there's eight games, so we, we have to keep looking. We have to keep trying to, to, to bring other people in. But uh, this group at the moment, they're, they're so tight-knit, it's, uh, it's got to be the right, the right ones to come in uh, and mix with the group, because it's a fantastic group in there. And although there's a tinge of disappointment, we are seven unbeaten now in, in February and five of those have, have come on the road and obviously we, we have had our struggles there earlier in the season so to go five unbeaten on the road must be a real sign of improvement that, that pleases you. Yeah massively because you look at the, uh, the five we went behind at Telford and come back, we went behind at Hungerford and come back, we've gone behind again today and come back, that tells you everything about the, the, the group I'm working with at the moment, you know it's, they just dig in there and, and game management's good, you know we don't panic when we go one nil down. Um, we just got 14 cup finals left. We, you know, we've got to really keep doing what we're doing. Um, you need a little bit of luck in games to see them out like today. You know, if the if the delivery's not as good and the header's not as good, we, we come away with three. That's life, unfortunately, in football. You know, credit to them today. You know, they they didn't give up on it. Um, they kept going right to the end and probably deserved the point. But you know, when you're that close, you, you, you're always disappointed not to to pick up the full three. And Tuesday we're at Fylde, which on paper is probably one of the toughest 
games you could have in the league, but we have gone there already this season and, and got a result in the FA Cup, so that must, you know, we, we know we can go there and, and get something. Yeah, it's uh, it's tough. I thought we were outstanding in the Cup. We should have won on the day. Um, but what they can do is rotate. I think they did that in the Cup. I think the previous game they made six changes. They made six changes that went for the replay when they come to uh, Farsi. We know how difficult that's going to be. You know, they've got a huge budget, full time team. Um, it's a bit of a free hit. You know, nobody expects us to, to go there and get anything, but probably nobody expected Hereford to do what they did last week. So we go there with belief, we go there with confidence, and we go there and know the boys will have a right good go.